And I yeah, let's do that. Who we got around there? Get this shit out of here. Anyway, I just picked up this copy of Natural Selection to the other day. Uh, coming as a fan of the first Natural Selection, All right, you guys can I'm really involved. Or really interested, rather, in getting this Natural Selection 2 game. Um, it's made, I believe it's off a modified Source Engine. I could be wrong. Um, it was originally going to be on the Source Engine, so it doesn't really look like the Source Engine that much, does it? It might be its own custom engine. Anyway, the game is sort of similar to the first one. Um, the basic idea is the same. If you ever played it, it's pretty much just killing the aliens or killing the Marines, depending. Um, it's actually a pretty well balanced uh, game. Now, this is coming from a mod for Half Life, so it's pretty amazing that Unknown Worlds did all this. Um, so, I, I just think it's pretty amazing. Uh, I hand grenades. You'll find that there are a lot of different um, new features that come in with the game. Um, uh, the aliens have a commander now. In the first game, the aliens did not have a commander. So, that's a whole new thing. Uh, sentry turrets were updated. Everything looks fresh. There are now power nodes for the Marines, which activates the lights in the room. So, that's a really neat feature because if the power node is destroyed, then you don't get any lighting in the room. Um, and that becomes a serious disadvantage if you're the Marines and can't see where your enemies are. Now, as for the aliens, they can spread cysts, which creates infestation. And the infestation, when it spreads, is designed to make just you know make the aliens. You know, it pretty much marks their territory. But also, I believe it has some other features. I haven't played too much of the Quran. Yes, that's the name of the aliens, as it was in the first one. So I'm not 100% familiar with everything the Quran has to do. I'll probably be doing more videos on this game because I'll be playing a lot of it as well as of course you know Planet Side Minecraft and all that um, and I'm gonna go over that later but there is a new instead of the heavy uh, if you know the heavy from the first game the big clunky um, heavy suit that you end up spawning as with you know you always have an HMG or a shotgun in that pretty much um, if you have no idea what I'm saying just ignore that but anyway this game has a thing called the exosuit, and it's like a big mech that you can climb into, and it has twin chain guns or rail guns. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. There's a lot of freaking interest that went into that. I was really, really psyched to see that. It was pretty cool. Um, and you can also climb out of the mech and repair it, so it's not like the first one where you're kind of trapped inside of it. Um, you're kind of, you kind of have the freedom to do what you want with it. Um, also, in terms of the aliens, they have the, um, shit that they had in the first one, the, you know, the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they have the big one, the big alien, um, and they have the fade and the lurk and the, uh, skulk, so they have all of them. And, you know, not too much has changed the aliens. They have, like I said, a few more features, but whatever. And here is assist in action. This spreads the infestation, as you can see. It created a big chunk of it. I'll probably end up dying over here, but... Oh, distress beacon. For no reason, I don't know why. Um, yes, you can also access the armory and get whatever weapons you'd like on demand. I don't know if they have. Do they have the HMG in this game? I don't even know. Good job, guys. Good job. Looks like the flamethrower replaced it. Push back and we get, we get that thing so I can get the refinery. They have a couple new grenade types, like the cluster grenade 
and the nerve grenade, which slows enemy advancement, it makes it much easier to handle the skulls. Um, also, if you play as the Karads, much nicer environments. If you look around, um, it's pretty cool. You can actually feel like you're the um, frontiersman or you're the Kara because in you know which areas are controlled by which. That's the cool part. Um, see, as the lighting is on here, you really feel like you're in allied territory if you're the frontiersman, of course. You really feel like you are secure in this allied area. Um, and when you start going into the alien terrain, let me see if I can find an alien base. Excuse the lag, I don't know what that's from. I'm assuming it's my computer, I don't know, but, you know, otherwise it's kind of the responsibility of... <laughs> The, uh, sir, uh, the game, which is also still releasing loads of patches. Also, as you can see right here, it's not as... Uh, I guess it's a little bit more foreboding. Uh, this, there's no allied territory here. Uh, yeah, and... Oh, shit, there's a little fucking... Fade! I'm getting out of here. Getting out of here. Yeah, there's a fade over there. We don't want... They're spreading the infestation all the way up here. Yeah, he's coming after me. I'm dead. Mega dead. Yeah. See if I can get out of here. No rush. But yeah, see, now this is back to allied territory. It's pretty much safe. You feel secure. You've got the sentry turrets over here. Um, the strategizing in the game is very similar to the first one, except there's more involvement because there's Probably an alien commander the now. Down, making it right now. Uh, the aliens and the humans have to work. You know, the humans have to work with each other, and the aliens have to really work with each other to get this set up, because it's all strategic. It's, you get a big-ass map of the game. I don't know how to get the map pulled. Oh, there we go. Uh, There's a huge map, as you can see here, for each level. Pretty detailed map. Um, and the aliens and the humans both have to strategize on, on which way they're going to uh, proceed in order to win. There's always a room in, in each game, we need to um, a, huge uh, a certain place that wants to you want to secure in order to really you know lock in the victory um, for yourself. But yeah, they, I mean you can as the commander you can spawn you can put down uh, what's it called you can put down anything yourself. Uh, you're the pretty much the main structure guy. You're responsible for putting down all the structures. Um, and there's a lot of pressure that rests on being the commander. Most people don't want to be commander because of the stress, and I really feel like it makes a... Uh, it really legitimizes the job. Um, it really makes it feel like, you know, you are the commander because of the stress that a lot of you are going to end up having. And you will build, and you will get stressed out, really. Phase gate, guys. Phase gate. Um... I'm you know, bottom of my team right now, but... There's voice communications, of course. Um... They will end, you'll end up talking to each other. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Now, what I really like about these videos that I'm doing right now is I'm still learning what all of this is. I believe these exoskeletons is either armor level 3 or it's the exosuits. Prototype Lab in the first 90%. game created the exosuit and the jetpack. I I'm gonna go Probably the same thing dual, now. Dual mini guns as well. Um, here's your old phase gate. From the first game, that would of course be your armory, your observatory, which finds aliens, infantry portal. That's where you spawn in, and they have a cool spawning in animation now. Really neat. Uh, that was cool for me, in my opinion. There's your power node, which, as I said, if destroyed, you lose power in the room. Lighting, pretty much as well. If you use power in the room, I don't believe you can build in structures. But this is an offensive base. It is created by a phase gate, which is secured by sentries and sentry batteries, which I'm gonna we're about to lose because we're gonna die in here. But and I can't really kill with the lag too well. But um. Yeah, looks like we're gonna lose this region. There's a gorge right there. Push him away. Yeah, he's trying to spawn in cysts. Get out of here. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I died. The lag got me. Devastating area damage. Yeah, and, and you know, as you can see here, they're communicating about the troubles that are imminent uh, coming in. Oh, look, dual gun exosuit available at the at the um, prototype lab. So let's go to the prototype lab.
Pick up an exosuit. 40 points. I have this. Let's give this a shot real quick. Oh, it's a, um, it's one chain gun and claw. I love this thing. These are really cool. You can't phase get with them before, I guess, but that's okay. They do a ton of damage. However, one issue with the exosuit is it's hard to see your opponents because they have, you know, the aliens have a bigger, better range, but... Just go for a hard push. We gotta get something back. Come on, guys. Let me through. Yeah, we're really doing well. I mean, this is really fun. And the, the guns overheat, of course, uh, as you can see, but it doesn't matter because it's so much fun. I mean, look at this. Come on. Just annihilating everything in sight. Pound that bitch. Punched his ass. Hell yeah. Just punched his ass. Uh, looks like I have auto regeneration. Oh, uh, no, I'm being repaired. Um, yeah, that's corrosive material, and it'll actually tear your hull apart slowly. I have it on mine as well. I don't really know how to get rid of it. Uh, I think it, okay, it fades away. Um, this chain gun has a limited ammo, and you really, like, a, you really feel like a, a, a giant war machine. It's, the, the exosuit's clunky, um, it's not really that slow, but it's kind of slow. Um, it, oh shit. It also has, like, lock-on. Like, you can see where Die! Oh no! Ah! And guys, this is what you can expect all the time when you play this game. It is so worth it. It is so worth getting. Um, it, it's on sale right now. Or at least it was. I, I spent like 10 bucks on it or something. And you know, to me it's kind of worth it. As a fan of the original game, it's it's something that I really enjoy. Um, I'll be playing a lot more of this. So, you know. But yeah, please consider getting it. You'll have a green icon next to your name. Or your, your name will be in green. As mine is. It shows that you're a newbie. Like you're new to the game. And it helps people see who's inexperienced. And that's something I feel like they should really implement in a lot of games. So it's pretty interesting. The build number is on the top left corner of your screen. Build 262 is what I'm at right now. And that just shows the amount of updates. And it's pretty much, you know, flat release. It's not really um, fleshed out that much yet. I can hear an Onos or Anos, whatever, coming our way. Yeah, there he is. He's going to get me. Um, yeah. But, yeah, please consider get the game. I'll do more videos. I'm really enjoying this right now. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll do, of course, a lot more videos and everything. That's just what I do. I do videos and play games, dude. See you guys.